Hey guys, it's Leverda1 here, and today we are playing Universe Sandbox 2 once again. So, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be exploring the various scenarios in which the sun would be binary and how that would affect the solar system. So, we're going to try three different types of stars. We're going to have a red dwarf, a main sequence star, and a possibly red giant, maybe blue giant, uh, towards the, the center, the, no, I wouldn't call that the center, yeah, the, right next to the sun, um, in between Jupiter and Saturn, and on the outside of the solar system, so, we're gonna start with the inside, so, here we have a normal solar system right here, then suddenly out of nowhere the sun gets a small little main sequence star about wee wide. Let's see how this affects. It's going to orbits. Yeah, that's what I that's what I imagined would happen, but maybe we should do trails. Let's do trails. Here, let's uh, let's speed up the time a bit. We already have Mercury suffering a lot from that. Uh, the, most of the inner planets seem pretty chill about this, except for Mars, which is going to be dragged way closer. Due to the motion of the, these nuts, little stars. Looks like Earth and Venus may be ejected from the solar system, as well as the other planets. So let, let's zoom this up to about there. I already have a uh, threw Mars away. Yeah, Mercury still sort of orbiting. What is that Cybels? It's, it's a weird little object. Right. Yeah, I think that I'm more comfortable with following this object, or maybe Mercury. So these little things, because that hurts my eyes, the sun and its twin star there. So Mercury is semi-reasonable. So yeah, it looks like Jupiter, Venus, Earth, and Saturn are getting ejected. Not sure about Uranus, but Neptune is most likely going to go. Sadly, this isn't quite speeding on as fast as I would like it, but that's fine. I'm wondering if Mars is going to be affected, or Mars and Mercury are going to affect each other in this situation. Probably won't come close enough. Mercury seems as if it's spiraling, spiraling inward, though. So, that's interesting. And while Mars has this absurd, twisted little pattern. Alright, so... I think the I think it's safe to say by now that the result of this is that Earth, Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, and Neptune are all going bye-bye, and this cloud is going to be a bit crazy, as well as the asteroid belt. Then the planets that do remain for sure are Mercury and Mars, with the possibility of Uranus. And if you count Ceres as a planet, it's a dwarf planet. Maybe Sears too. All right, let's restart this. Let's open a, another solar system. Hmm. All right, now in real time. Sure, whatever. Let's oh, let's speed this up. <laughs> Tesla Roadster. There we go. Got our favorite uh, embodiment of the insanity of Elon Musk, so it's always fun. Alright, let's zoom back out. I'm going to delete that for performance reasons. And let's add in a random main sequence star. And we'll make this one... Let's, let's just add in the sun, actually. We'll add another sun in. About there, there it should be fine. All right, 
see what happens with this. Alright, sadly it looks like this may be a bit too much for this to handle. You know, maybe we should just do the basic plants. I think we should try that. Um, That. It's not good, yeah. There we go. Alright, done. And now, yeah, we still have the second sun, so. Or is that just there? Is that, is that a glitch? This feels like a glitch. Whoop. And we done goofed, I believe. Well, we found some sort of glitch in the universe sandbox. I don't think there's supposed to be two suns, but who knows? Maybe that's just me. Maybe there are two suns, and the universe sandbox is just trying to tell us about it. Alright. Here we go. Let's slow this down, actually. They just eat Venus. Alright, looks like they just plain gave up. These planets just plain gave up on their star as the sun is moving way too fast for them to hold on. Yeah, it looks like maybe no planets will stay with the sun here. That's pretty nuts. This is really cool to watch though trails if you look at it from a certain angle. It's like some sort of wire. It's funny. Alright, well, the result of that was pretty quick. Um, looks like all the inner planets are ejected, and uh, Neptune, uh, Uranus will probably fly off. And uh, I'm not sure what the result of these guys is going to be. Actually, Mercury might still re remain, possibly. It's unlikely, however. Alright, now let's open up the solar system again. With our little... God, I just want to get rid of that random, nonsensical... ...star that's there. Alright, let's add a random known star. Hopefully a big one. Big. Gib. Big. Star. Alright, let's just find one. Regal. That's a pretty big star. Alright, let's put that right here. Alright, I am i don't think this will work very well. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. So much for being binary. Just eat everything. Did the Earth survive not, though? Nope. I wonder if Jupiter or Saturn will make it. Not Saturn. Probably not Jupiter either. Alright. Bet Uranus and Neptune have a chance though. Hey, we still got the four little plants no one micro planets that no one knows about or cares. So that's wonderful. Alright. Let's just move on to the second phase. In between Jupiter and Saturn, we'll add a binary star. Alright, let's start with random main sequence star. That's a small one, right? Yeah. Alright, let's... Hmm. Doesn't seem that affected for the moment. Let's check the orbits. catch something. Oh yeah. I'm sure as time goes by, things will start going a little wacko. Yeah, I mean, we've already got a lot of the smaller objects being affected. Um, yeah, Uranus and Neptune are already falling inward. However, the inner solar system seems relatively unaffected. That's pretty interesting. Mm. Should we 
We'll give it a year. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Saturn and the other planets to fall farther inward. Oh, yeah. Hey, Saturn's starting to orbit that one. That's cool. And we got Jupiter in with the orbit the wrong star gang. That's sweet. Alright. About Neptune. What's Neptune up to? Neptune's up to shrinking its orbit. That's fine. <laughs> Is this? There are pals being ejected everywhere. Saturn Eden or what? Confused. Looks like wondering if I, I want to make a joke here but not sure I should well luckily I don't have to because it doesn't look like Salib is gonna eat your anus all right all right I think that's enough of this one let's move on to solar system and then we'll add a sun-sized star here Ooh boy, this one's gonna get pretty messy, I bet. Alright, there we go. Uh, what? Excuse me? That's not what stars are supposed to do, but what do I know? Alright, let's add random main sequence star. Now add the sun in orbit of the sun. Why is it doing that? Stop doing that. And we're just sniffing out those weird bugs. Get the sun. And you put them in orbit of... Let's put it over here. That's not how stars work. What? I'm so confused. What is happening? doesn't do that with bigger stars man I hope universe the universe sandbox team watches this video cuz that did not make sense did screw around with the other planets though so there's my constellation All right, let's view orbits. yeah surprisingly the inner solar system isn't too bad off Considering another star was placed inside of it. Alright. Wait. Let's do Regal. So we're gonna have Regal in orbit. Something tells me this won't go well either. Alright. Let's maybe slow this down a bit because it's gonna get pretty nasty pretty fast. Let's get the orbits. Ooh boy. No, it's getting ejected again, it looks like. And Hygieia, Juno, Hebe, and Iris. Oh, that makes me sad. No, 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 no. What does Venus have to survive? Who cares about Venus? Mars. Why those two planets? No one likes them. Well, they're getting ejected anyway. Let's see what happens to Saturn and Uranus. Uranus dies. Let, let me guess, Saturn dies too. Huh. It's not, it just gets ejected. Well, Mars is still there and so is Jupiter. Actually, let me, I don't think Jupiter's gonna last much longer either. Boop, there goes Neptune. Is it Eunomia? Okay. Where's my boy Venus? Oh. Comes all the way out there. Okay. Hmm. Looks 
like Jupiter has actually found a stable orbit. So have several other planets. <laughs> Venus has got a pretty sexy orbit right there. Alright, let's now scoot on towards a new version. We are going to put a star on the outer part of the solar system. Random main sequence star right here. Oh, it's Salib. Yo, what up, my boy Salib again? He's smaller. No one seems to care about Salib. Neptune, do you care? Yeah, our buddy Neptune cares. Looks, Looks like he might die in the process of caring. Salib looks like it wants to eat Neptune. Alright, let's... Whoa, we got Neptune on a crazy little orbit. I don't think anyone else really cares, though. Can I zoom in? Yeah, Mars is a little bit of a nuttier orbit, but I don't think it really matters here. At least not for a few more years. So, let's just scoot on towards the sun-sized star. Alright, and sun. Here we go. It's not placed by Neptune. I'm not going to bully my boy Neptune anymore. Alright, what's up with orbits? I want to see the orbits. Alright, all the crazy objects that don't matter are wonderful. So can we scoot on this a couple more months? Alright, here I'm gonna look at the inner solar system because that's what matters. Um, we have our weird faux star, but now sim simulation slowed down a lot. Great. Hmm. That's no good. Well, it might, it might be a little difficult to run this on these settings. Here, let, let's try Regal, and then I think we'll end the video here. Alright, Saturn. Here we go. Regal shouldn't be too bad. Orbits. Orbits should give us a pretty good look at the chaos that'll come. I already got my boy Jupiter looking at a kamikaze right now. Ooh boy. And... Well then. Hey, Earth's still alive for the first time in... Well, it's burning hell anyway, so it doesn't look to matter very much. Now let's slow this down and see if it can cool a little bit. There's probably some scared little underworld hobos right now, but let's slow down so I can actually see the surface. Yep, that's a little spooky. Yikes. It's now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright. Well, now you guys can see the result of this. Um, probably won't be exactly the same if you try it, but... Yeah, you can tell it'll be completely nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Lever to one, sign in out.